Hey guys, this is Gerald Cigar Stream. Now this evening I'm going to take a look at this little stick of dynamite called the Punch Diablo. Stick around guys. Reviews coming up. If you're new to this channel and enjoy cigar reviews and cigar related artwork, consider clicking that subscribe button. Alright guys, this is definitely an interesting looking cigar. I believe it's the Figurado shape. They call this the uh, Diablos. It's a 55 by 54 Really cool looking cigar. I mean, it's got that tapered head at the foot. It's kind of got a bulge right before the foot. And then you kind of got a slightly tapered foot. It's not a very big cigar. It's only 5 half. Actually, it looks a lot smaller than that if I'm being honest. It looks a lot smaller than that in my hands. But it's only 5 half by 54 And I have to say, definitely a gorgeous and very interesting looking stick. Now, this cigar is a collaboration between AJ Fernandez and Punch. The cigar consists of an Ecuadorian Sumatra, a Skrull wrapper. The binder is Connecticut Broadleaf, and the filler is both Nicaraguan and Honduras. Definitely has a very nice dark chocolate brown look to that wrapper. Has some lumps and bumps and veins and all that, but it is a gorgeous looking wrapper. And that band on this wrapper just really pops. What's cool about that band is it... It makes you feel like Diablo, the devil. It, it makes you, it just kind of jumps out at you. It's got the reds on top of the blacks. I mean, it looks like something that's going to be kind of spicy. It's definitely considered a full body smoke. So I'm expecting that it's going to have a bite to it, especially it being from AJ Fernandez. But on that note, guys, I'm still really curious to see what this cigar is like. So let's cut it up, light up, and see how good this cigar really is. Alright guys, I'm obviously past the first puff, several puffs into this cigar. The, um, I did do an initial impressions uh, when I first lit the cigar. Unfortunately, I'm having technical difficulties with my camera, so I'm going to try to recap what I said in that intro. It, initially, when I started drawing on the cigar, I got like these leather notes. Leather notes were pretty much the base flavor that I was getting. On top of that, I got some pretty good espresso flavors as well. However, what I noticed about those flavors is they were just kind of slightly watered down. The issue I'm having with the cigar, at least I was when I first started smoking it, is that the, the draw for me, it just wasn't able to pull a lot of smoke. So I was having to draw multiple times to get a decent amount of smoke output in my mouth. I think that was impacting the flavors because right now the flavors seem to have improved drastically and also the, the draw itself has improved as well. So initially I got leather, I got like these espresso notes and then that retro, I got this spice. Now that spice did have a little bit of a sharp bite to it, but it wasn't as powerful as I was expecting. But yeah, overall it was a pretty good taste. Now, I'm quite a few puffs into it. What's changed since then is really not much. I mean, I think the flavors are a little more fuller. I'm getting a little bit, kind of like a little slight woodsy flavor in there as well. I do taste those espresso notes. I do taste those leather notes. Now that retro hell, that spice, that, that bite to it has amped up a little bit. But I think overall we're looking at a pretty good taste in cigar. I'm definitely impressed with the flavors so far. Really looking forward to see how this guy develops as I go through it. Now, due to the shape of the cigar, due to the size, I don't think it's one I'm going to break up in the thirds. It just doesn't really make sense, especially with the odd shape of the that I have with the stick. I'll probably do it like in halves. I'll probably just kind of do halves, come back with my impressions when I reach about halfway through it, and then I'll just kind of finish off my, my last impression. So it should be a pretty short review. I'll keep working on it, guys. Come back with another update shortly. Alright guys, I was trying to hurry up and do an update to show uh, the ash. I had a really nice long ash on this. I'll show it in a video clip. I was also trying to do an update before I burned through the band. Just didn't get the opportunity. didn't work out for me. So we'll just do an update here. Now, flavor-wise, I have to say the cigar is getting a little bit bolder. I still get the same flavors, so I do get the leather, I do get the espresso. At times there's that espresso in that retrohale, and it's got like this slight hint of sweetness to it. Some of the best flavors I've ever had on a cigar. I mean, it's a really good taste. Uh, there's other times there's these woodsy notes. Now the woodsy notes aren't too bold, but I definitely get a nice woodsy flavor in there as well. And just right here about the halfway point, I started getting a lot bolder flavors. They're a little bit darker, a little bit heavier, but yeah, overall, I think it's an excellent taste in cigar. Now, I'm probably going to sound like a commercial here for the Corona Cigar of the Month Club. This cigar came in that club. This is the third cigar I've had from their January 2020 package. Uh, all three of those cigars have been excellent. Now, I paid for those cigars myself. They weren't given to me. I wasn't sponsored. Uh, those I paid for myself. And I have to say, I've been really impressed with that club so far. I mean, they gave me six cigars in, in that package. So right now at 50%, they've been excellent. I haven't had the other three, but the first three that I've had, I've been really impressed with the flavors of them. 
uh, they all seem to have pretty decent construction. The construction on this one is definitely pretty good. It's got a really good burn line. That ash, like I said, was uh, holding on quite well. Really nice ash. The smoke output for me has improved drastically. So yeah, overall, definitely a very impressive stick. And this cigar, actually due to the shape of it, makes me curious to try different Matolas. I like to try more of a traditional size. Or maybe if they had a Toro or something like that. I'm not exactly sure what sizes they have. For me, this one's definitely been an enjoyable smoke. So I'll keep working on it and I'll come back with my final update shortly. All right guys, I've pretty much nubbed this one out and I have to say overall the flavors were excellent. I enjoyed both phases of this stick. Now, in that second half of the cigar, the main flavor I got was a spice. Now, it wasn't a peppery spice. It was kind of like this refreshing taste. At times it kind of had like this fruity S type flavor to it. Other times I got like a slight cream in there as well, but for the most part it was just kind of a, a very unique spice flavor. And then there was times in the retro hell, you know, for a brief moment where I get like a peppery type spice as well, but it was definitely spice in the draw, spice in the retro. And for me, a very good tasting stick. It's one I really enjoyed. And I was trying to show the ash on this one as well. Just didn't time it right, ash fell off, but the construction for me was pretty good. The draw, once I got past those initial issues I had with the draw, I got plenty of smoke output. The burn for me was pretty solid. It wasn't perfect, but it was pretty good. The ash on it, although it was slightly flaky, had a nice long ash on it. And yeah, this is definitely a cigar I would love to smoke again. Overall, a cigar I definitely recommend. Now, if you've had this cigar before, let me know what you think about it in the comments below. And I'll see you guys on the next review.